Hi, in this video I'm going to show you briefly how you can access the Japanese version of Netflix wherever you are. Now, as you're probably aware, if you subscribe to Netflix, you get a sort of global account that kind of moves with your location. So at the moment I'm in the UK, so I'll get the UK version of Netflix. If I was in the US, I get the US version. For some people, and many people in fact, this is fine, but um, for others, it's not so good. For a start, all these versions of Netflix are rather different. The standard Netflix produced drama or film or comedy or whatever will be the same across all of them, but there's obviously thousands and thousands of shows and films that are not made by Netflix, and this is where the difference lies. And you'll find there are loads of different areas of content that are covered better by different versions of Netflix. Generally, people think if you're looking for volume and overall quality, the US Netflix is the best. Uh, the UK, Canadian ones are pretty good as well. And, you know, the European ones are um, good as well. And obviously, if you're using the French ne Netflix, you'll have more French content. So uh, obviously, local variance it, it is important. Okay, but what if you want to watch a different version of Netflix? What if I'm in the UK and I want to switch my version to the US or Japanese or French or something like that? How do I do it? Well, all you have to do is use something called a VPN to hide your IP address. And I'm going to show you how to do it now. Okay, so let's show you the VPN that I use. It's called NordVPN. I'll just start it here. When you um, connect to it, you'll see you get this little map of the world with um, all the countries where NordVPN has a server. Now, these aren't just one server each. There are hundreds and hundreds in each of these locations. Some more than others. There's obviously a lot more in the United States than there'll be in Brazil, for instance. <coughs> so, if I want to watch a different version of Netflix, what I need to do is to connect to um, a server in that country. Now, we said we were going to try and access Japanese Netflix here because it's kind of a uh, Netflix that lots of people want because they like all the different content. Okay, so now you can either go over to Japan, which is here, and auto connect, but I would always recommend if you're using NordVPN, don't use this auto connect or quick connect feature. Instead, go to this little search tab at the top, uh, type the country you want, and then you'll see a list of all the different servers that are available there. You see there's around seem to be about 500 listed in Japan. Uh, this is because um, when you're accessing these sites, they do look out. Netflix will look out for um, too many connections on the same IP address. So if you use the auto connect or quick connect, I've always found that um, sometimes you get trouble that they get blocked because too many people are using it. Whereas if you go and set up your favorites here or just click one at random, it tends to work much better for me. <clears throat> okay, so I'm clicking on Japan now. So this is making a, a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network Connection, to a Japanese server. Now this will encrypt my connection and keep me completely hidden. But the important fact is that it will give me effectively a Japanese IP address. You see it's connected there. I'm in the UK, so it takes a little while to connect first time. Okay, so when I now go to Netflix, instead of seeing a um, UK IP address, it will see the IP address of the VPN server. Let me just close this. And let us now go to Netflix. Okay, so now I'm going to Netflix. And if you remember, we were um, on the uh, UK version just a second ago. Now we'll just go and visit it. Here we go. And right, so we've gone into Netflix. Now, first, you might think it's the same, but if we start scrolling down, you'll see we've got Japanese programs. There's a film there, which is is a good film, but it's uh, not on the UK version of Netflix anymore. And if you scroll down, you'll see different areas. As I say, lots of the, um, see here, top 10 in Japan, uh, lots more Japanese stuff, obviously lots more... Um, uh, localized stuff is available and you'll find different films and different movies it's just basically uh i would guess sort of 60 70 percent the same and the other 30 40 percent is different so you can watch whatever you like let me just 
let's just click something that's obviously Japanese and you can see it's now scrolling through and it'll um, work perfectly well of course you know if you're learning Japanese or you, the specific content I'll just stop that there but you'd see it's streaming and that's basically it um, so this is using a program called NordVPN you have to be careful not all VPNs work with Netflix so if, if this is what you want a VPN be careful you get one like Nord that has a money-back guarantee so you can try it out and see if it's working but um, this works perfectly well and as you can see I'm now browsing through the Japanese version of Netflix if I go back disconnect close my browser and connect to a US uh, VPN server I can go and look at the US version of Netflix um, that's how easy it is really uh, as soon as I disconnect I'll go back to wherever I actually am in my case at the moment it's UK so then if I connect it to Netflix again I get the UK version of Netflix okay I hope that's clear um, there's links below in the description if you want to read about it more or if you have any questions just pop them in the comments okay thanks very much for watching goodbye